Um, well, we're going to assume you're the guy on Saturday. Yeah. So uh, what are the initial thoughts, feelings, emotions as you uh, prepare for your first start here in um, just a few days? I'm excited. I uh, look, forward, look forward to it for a long time. Um, it's a great opportunity, and uh, obviously, you know, you, you watch a lot of co college football this weekend, and uh, it kind of gets you excited and ready to play somebody else besides uh, the same guys every week. And just the fact now that you guys are, this is for real. This, you know, it's not, not practice any longer, training mm -hmm. camp. I mean, how is it going to change this week now that it's game week for you guys? Well, I mean, I think you just approach the week just like any other week, and, you know, you try and do the things that, uh, that the coaching staff has put in front of us and execute the schemes that, are, that we're asked to do. I mean, I, I feel like if we go out and just do what we need to do offensively, I think defensively I think we'll be fine. I think, uh, I think they fly around really well and, you know, a lot of good team speed. And uh, obviously, we've seen that in the scrimmage a couple of times. So we've seen that firsthand. Uh, so it'll be nice to go out and try and execute something different and uh, just have a solid week of practice and come ready to play on Saturday. With all the losses uh, from the team, offense particularly last year, you know, there's a lot of question marks, of course, going into mm -hmm. this year uh, with the offense. How eager are you guys to get on, onto the field and kind of make an identity for yourselves and to assert yourselves as you know, the number one offense here at Cal Poly? I think we have an idea of what we want to be and what we want to do. Um, I mean, we have several offensive goals that we'd like to accomplish, you know, possess the ball and uh, you know, make sure ball security is obviously a, a top priority and make sure we're not putting the defense in a bad situation. Don't turn the ball over and keep a high tempo. I feel like if we, uh, you know, if we keep the tempo high and we... You know, we march up and down the field and eat up a lot of clock. We'll put our defense in a good situation and probably put the team in a good situation to win the ball game on Saturday. Alex Kasich from the Mustang Daily. Just wondering, um, you guys, you know, you have a lot of, uh, uh, you got a lot of brothers going on in there. I mean, it seems like you got a, t got a tight family unit. Mm -hmm. um, to explain how that kind of play uh, goes um, into your style of play and how that's contributed to um, your guys' um, you know, off preseason, offseason training and it's huge. I mean, you know, uh, a lot of guys were here this summer, and that was a that was a good thing to see. You know, a lot of guys realize, you know, this th there's a lot at stake here. You know, and we got we got something to prove this season. So, you know, we had a lot of guys over the summer. You know, built a lot of good relationships. Um, all the freshmen that have come in, I've really just took it, taken it with stride. You know, come right into the program, fit right in, and you know what, it does help. You know, because when we get on the field out there. You know, we're doing things uh, during training camp like LRC, you know, the, the Army reaction course. And uh, it's stuff like that, you know, you really see the, the true side of your teammates. And it's, it's nice to see that these guys, you know, everybody's on the same page and we all want the same thing, and that's to win. So, Do you guys feel like that you have a chip on your shoulder? You have something to prove this season, especially, you know, with, uh, you know, the success of last year? I mean, what, is, what, are, what are the feelings coming in this year? Um, I feel like we think that last year was last year and this year is this year. And, uh, you know, we, like I said, we have, a, we have a pretty good model of what we want to be and uh, the things that we want to accomplish. And if we do those things, I know that we can be successful as a team and as a unit, and uh, that's the main goal. So. Um, what's going to be the recipes for success here? I mean, what's the biggest thing you're looking to stand out coming here, um, you know, against Sac State? What's, the, uh, what's, what's something as far as maybe, you know, running the ball, tossing the ball? What, what's it going to be? What's, what's going to be the – I think we just need to possess the ball. I mean, as long as we don't have any mishaps on offense and try to, try to stay as least penalized as possible. I mean, I, I think that, that uh, you know, Coach – Offensive coordinator Coach Cook, he pointed out, you know, the teams that struggle in week one are the teams that turn the ball over and have a lot of penalties. So I think if we can eliminate those mistakes and uh, execute the game plan that we've been asked to, I think that there shouldn't be any problems and, uh, you know, we'll put ourselves in a good situation to win. All right, thanks, man. Hey, Tony, in the limited role that you had last year, what, if anything, can you take or pull from last year uh, going into this year for you as a quarterback? Um, a lot of things, actually. You know, I, I played under uh, Jonathan Daly for two years, you know, and learned a lot from him, just the way um, the things, that he, the way he acts around the locker room, the leadership role that he took with the team, and uh, just the way he played on the field. Um, you know, he's, he's a great leader, and he's a great uh, facilitator of the offense, and uh, it, was, it was nice to play under him and learn from the things that he did, you know, just – the poise that he had on the field and the stuff that, you know, when things were going bad on the sideline, it was, hey, how can we fix it? What are we going to do? It's never, you know, well, we should do this or we should do that. You know, just listening to our coaching staff and trusting the fact that if we execute the way we should, that the results will be positive. I know Dave kind of asked you the, the first question about this, but, I mean, you transferred here. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming for, for this opportunity to be the starting quarterback at Cal Poly. Now you are the starting quarterback at Cal Poly. Just kind of how exciting is that for you to, to reach your goal and to – have a chance to go out there and lead the team to victory. You know, it's very exciting. Um, my whole life, I, it's basically been, you know, my hard work has always paid off. And I feel like, 
you know, over the last couple of years, I've worked really hard to, to really work into the offense. And finally, the, like you're right, the opportunity has arrived. And now the only thing to do is, is to go out and execute. I mean, we, we have to, you have to go out and you have to have a good game. And, you know, I mean, it's exciting. And, I mean, I, I really worked hard, and that's the reason I did come here, to play quarterback for Cal Poly. And now that I have that opportunity, I'm, I'm looking forward to it this Saturday. I'm just curious, you guys feel added pressure, not just to win your season opener, but just kind of like silence the critics, whoever they may be, or the fans who are just like, oh, they lost all this offense from last year. Mm -hmm. You know, just to kind of prove that, hey, you know, you can't con continue this winning tradition and these are the Mustangs of 2009. Well, I mean, I feel like I feel like any program goes through their ups and downs, and, you know, and there's always going to be those type of people out there who are doubters, you know, and our job is to just go out on Saturday and, you know what, just execute the way we can. I mean, um, we've shown... We've shown throughout, you know, in the first drive of the spring game, we can move the ball on a good defense like our own, and uh, we can put points up on the board. I think that once we get in a live situation in a real game, um, you know, there's no telling what we can do. I mean, I think we got a lot of playmakers, and as long as we get the, uh, the ball into their hands and we possess the ball and limit penalties, I think we can do whatever it takes, and whatever it takes to win is what we're going to need to do. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. We don't have to put up 700 yards of offense to win the ball game. I mean, if we put up 400 yards of offense and we keep it a balanced run and a balanced pass attack and we end up with a, a W, I mean, there's, there's no reason to think that that's a negative game. So.